I've got four words for you. Banana, maple, bacon, donut. It's a decadent treat that's not just for breakfast. Here's how you make it. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Then I'll get started on my dry ingredients. Here I have some all-purpose flour and now I'll just add some sugar, baking soda, a little bit of kosher salt, and some nutmeg. Whisk it all together until it's combined. Mmm, I can smell the nutmeg. When that's done, I'm gonna set it aside and work on my wet ingredients. So here's where the banana comes in. I'm gonna peel this and mash it until it's nice and pureed. And a good way to mash it is either with a fork or a potato masher if you have one. I like to look for really ripe ones with brown spots on there because that's when it's the sweetest, all the sugar's been released and it's gonna make for a really good banana donut. Okay, the banana puree looks really good. So now I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredients. Here I have some warm milk, some melted coconut oil, vanilla extract, and an egg. Now I'm just gonna whip all that up together. Perfect. So now I'm gonna add my wet ingredients into my dry ingredients. Just right in the middle. And then using my spatula, I'll just mix it all together. Great. Now that the batter's done, we'll add it to our piping bag and then pipe it into our donut pan. I can see little lumps of banana in there and the flavors are really gonna show through after we bake them. And let's get piping. Cut the tip, the bag. I'm piping the batter into the donut pan so I have more control. I'm piping it about three quarters of the way up so it has room to expand. Now we're ready to bake. While the donuts are baking, I'm gonna make my maple glaze. I already have some powdered sugar in the bowl and I'll just add some maple syrup. And if you want some more flavor, here's some maple extract. I'm mixing a little bit of the maple syrup at a time because I don't want the glaze to be too runny. It's starting to come together. And we want it to be a little bit thick so that it grips to the donut. I think this looks good. It's been about eight minutes. Let's check on our donuts. They look and smell amazing. They're nice and golden brown. Now that our donuts have completely cooled, we can dip them into our glaze. I like to use the bottom part because they tend to be a little bit bigger and you want a lot of glaze, right? Ooh. The glaze is like a glue that just sticks to the donut. For easy cleanup, I've lined my baking pan with a wire rack so that the excess can just drip down. Before the glaze cools, I'm gonna take my bacon bits and just drizzle it on top. Be really liberal with this because you can't get enough bacon. I'll let it cool completely until the glaze hardens about five minutes and then we can dig in. And here we have our donut. Let's give it a try. Mm. The smokiness of the bacon pairs so well with the sweetness of the maple glaze. It's perfect. 